Brian Harson. He spoke about the attempted coup to oust him at Auburn, and I'm going to bring this up here. Uh, he said the attack against the program during inquiry didn't work, and it united the football team. I, I do want to play this, so let's uh, let's listen to what he says here. February, and uh, what I'm going to do now is address it, and uh, moving forward, that'll be the last time I talk about this subject, but there was an inquiry. It was uncomfortable. It was unfounded. Uh, and it uh, presented an opportunity for people to, you know, personally attack me, my family, uh, and also our program, and, and it didn't work. So right now, uh, our focus is on moving forward, and what came out of that inquiry uh, were a lot of positive. There was a silver lining in all of this because what I saw from our players and our coaches was leadership opportunities for them to step up, which is exactly what they did. And you got a chance to see guys uh, provide leadership. You got a chance to see coaches provide leadership. And what it did, it was united our football team. It united our players, united our staff, it united our football team. And so uh, I'm really proud of our guys, and I'm proud of what something like that, um, that could be very challenging and difficult uh, for a lot of people, how our guys stepped up and handled it. And we had coaches and players that could have went on and went to different places, avoided all the adversity and the challenges and everything that came with it, and they didn't do that. Now, that's not 100% true because some of them did, and you can see it on the roster now. There are holes that just were not filled, bottom line. Uh, so there were guys that left, uh, Derek Mason, notably, Bo Nix, notably. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I see where he's coming from. I did mention a while back that I liked the idea of him starting a podcast, which he has done. I forget what it's called now, Harson's Huddle or Huddle with Horrors or something like that. I liked that idea because it allowed him to set a narrative. It allowed him to speak directly with Auburn fans to let his voice out so that you're not just completely inundated with all of the message board talk, right? All of the social media and everything that can find a way to turn negative. The The phrase here with, it didn't work, while true in the moment, I don't know, it came off a little brash, a little cocky. I don't know that I would have said it in those words, right? I think I would have found a different way to hit on that topic and then get back out of it. And I understand he was trying to uh, spin this narrative of it was a positive, there was a silver lining, everything was good. I just, it it is still insanely likely that he will not be the head coach at Auburn when we get to 2023. Uh, he's got a $15 million buyout, or $15 million buyout after this year. To them, that ain't that much. So, you already know that people don't like you. And yeah, there's one thing to go out just guns blazing, but it's another to, and I, I got to tell you, I don't know exactly how I would have gone about this. I just, I don't know that I would have gone about it the way that he did. So I know I'm not offering a lot of solutions. And I'm curious if you guys want to jump into the YouTube comments. Uh, I'm curious what you would have done if you agree with the way that he handled this or if maybe there was a different way to go about it. But it was interesting to hear him just come out and tackle it head on. Obviously, that's commendable to come out and and start off with it, right? It just opening statement, just let's get this out of here, and I'm I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I just, you know, the way that he said it didn't work, kind of kind of threw me. It it was almost a a rallying call, like a I don't know. I I liked it a little bit at first, and the more I thought about it, I was a little shocked. A little bit shocked. So it was uh, It was surprising. It was interesting. And yet, I don't know. I, I don't know that I would have handled it the way that he did. And, and maybe that's just a me thing. I'm curious to hear what you guys think about that. Now, thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.